Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1,300. Hey, if you want to download the Sorkway like Excel Magic Trick 1,300, 1,302, and follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some numbers. And we need to list all of the modes. Now, I have a bunch of videos on how to list multiple modes, because in this case, we have multiple modes. But that's all in different cells. In fact. You can use count ifs, pivot tables, array formulas, all sorts of things. But we want to list all the modes in a single cell. Well, the new text join function in Excel 2016 comes to our rescue yet again. We've seen a bunch of examples of text join. And in fact, if we scroll down here, here's a playlist of the text join videos. Here's some individual videos that are actually in the playlist. And if you want to see how to get the new functions in Excel 2016. You can watch this video. But in essence, you have to have Office 365, Office 2016 to get text joined. Now, what is a mode? When you look at a set of, in our case, numbers, we just need to find the one that occurs most frequently. Now, there's a couple functions we can use. And if I type equals mode, there are three functions. And that little yellow triangle means compatibility mode. That mode function is from earlier versions. In 2010, they replaced this compatibility one with dot single. The dot single and the mode are the same. They look through a data set and find the value that occurs most frequently. But if there's multiple modes like we have, then these functions fail. They only find the first one, which would be 77. Mode dot multiple, of course, will find all of them simultaneously. If we use single and highlight the data set, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace, and enter, it makes a mistake. It doesn't even tell us that there are multiple modes. It just reports the first one. If instead we use mode dot multiple, if I highlight Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace, and I hit enter. Whoa, wait a second, 77. I thought the mult was supposed to deliver multiple. Well, it's in a single cell here, so it can only put one item into the cell. If we actually highlight in here in F9, sure enough, we could see there's many modes in this data set. There's, in essence, a five-way tie for numbers that occur most frequently. Control Z. Now we are going to use this little bit, and I'm actually going to cheat. I'm going to Control C to copy and enter. Now we're going to come up here and use our formula equals text join. And this function in the text argument is where we put all of our modes. But first, we need to say what is the delimiter. That's just the character between each one of the values we're going to put over here that we're going to join together. So in double quotes, I'm going to put comma, space, end double quote. So between each mode, we'll have a comma and a space, comma. The second argument in text join is, hey, how do you want to treat empty cells? We either want to ignore them with true or leave it omitted, comma. And then text one, control V. Remember, that's delivering multiple items. Text join will have no problem joining them in a single cell. Close parentheses and enter. And there it is, all of our modes in a single cell. If I come over here and change this to 77, now there's only one mode. If I change another one to 61, now there is two. So that formula is totally dynamic. Control Z, Z. Now notice these are not sorted. Now many times we don't care. It just reports them in the order that it encounters them in the data set. So that is pretty amazing. Now in our next video, we'll actually see how to dramatically amend this formula so that the modes will be sorted in a single cell. All right, we'll see you next video.